All right, got an issue with my 2011 F250 with the 6.2 liter gas engine. Apparently this is a little more common than I thought. When I was standing here listening to my truck run the other day, I heard a ticking sound. It sounded almost like an exhaust leak or something rattling on the belt. And it turns out that's not what it was. Let's see if I can show you what the problem is. Alright, so if you saw that, that was actually a spark coming from the coil pack and it was hitting on the thermostat housing there. So obviously there's an issue with the coil boot, but I guess it's a little more common than you'd think. And all this is a relatively low mileage engine, which is kind of surprising that it would be doing that to me. So luckily for me, it is this front coil pack, so I should be able to get a bolt underneath front of that and I think this will be serviceable we can just change the rubber boot on the bottom so I'm gonna take it out get a look at it looks like I'm just gonna need a looks like an eight millimeter wrench to get the bolt out so let me go ahead and do that so I finally get to use my new uh, step here that I got as a present it's perfect for working on a truck like this but anyway so yeah it's an eight millimeter so I'm gonna stick it on here I'm gonna go ahead and remove this Watt plug wire here kind of gives us a little more room. That's the one that goes to the lower spark plug. If you're not familiar, the 6.2 liter has two spark plugs per cylinder one on the top of the head, one down on the bottom by the exhaust. Let's break this loose. If I get that all the way off, go ahead and undo this. This looks like it's actually been off of here before. I'm gonna go get a little flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna make we have to pull the red tab out first. And then it'll allow us to decompress this clip and just pop this off here. It's going to be a pain to get with the air intake on here. There we go. And you just push down and compress it with your thumb. That comes right off. It's not a bad idea to replace all these when they start doing this, but like I said this engine's only got 50,000 miles on it. So it's kind of strange that this problem has developed. Usually that means there's some corrosion down in the bottom of the boot. So the spark's looking for an alternate path or the silicone has just broke down or been damaged. And I did not have any check engine lights or any noticeable drivability problems. All right, so I was able to get that out. It's a little tight under here. Pop this out of the hole. So the question is, where is it jumping from? Because everything looks in pretty good shape. All right, so, like I said, this is serviceable. I was able to buy this part here, standard SPP139E. I got this one on Rock Auto. Uh, it took a few days to get here. They didn't actually carry it in the local parts stores. So this is just a direct replacement for the boot. So it comes with the new conductor inside. Looks like some kind of like a resistor pill or something. Pop the old one off. That just pulls off like that. So if you look down in there, there is decent amount of corrosion going on inside of here. So I'm going to blow this out with some air, try to get in here and clean it up a little bit. In fact, you can see that the some of the ribbing down the sides of the inside is completely corroded away. So I do not know if this coil pack is going to be salvageable, but I got this out. I'm going to use some water and baking soda and try to flush out all the corrosion. Clean it up the best I can. It's hard to get down in there. Use like a pipe cleaner and put it back together and see if it fixes the problem. If not, we'll have to buy a new coil, but we'll see if we can salvage this one. All right, well, I took it apart, tried to clean it up the best I could to get the corrosion 
and like I said, this is all destroyed in there. And you can see on this piece here how bad that is. That was the contact up inside of the quill. And then I discovered where the problem actually is once I got it all cleaned up. If you look right here on the side of the quill, down in the side here, you can actually see daylight, and that's because there is a hole blown right through the side of the coil, and that's where the spark was leaking out. So it actually wasn't the boot at all. It was coming out between the boot and where it meets this piece. So basically this thing is trashed. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to buy a new coil. I thought I would try the boot first because it's obviously the cheaper thing, and that's where I thought the spark was. And in most cases on your modular Fords, you can get away with just replacing the boot. But in this case, obviously, you know, there's a huge hole in the side. So this part's going to have to be replaced. So that's the answer. I'll stop at the dealer tomorrow and buy a new one. I don't recommend buying one of these from the parts store. Only genuine Ford. All right, so I priced it out at the dealer, and it was cheapest price I could get was like $147 and then I found on Amazon the exact same part for $79 so I decided to wait a few days for the Amazon part I didn't need the truck it's pretty crazy you can get it about half the price for the genuine Ford Motorcraft part so here's the factory part number and then DG526 is your Motorcraft part number all right, I'm gonna get this put back in here real quick. It's reverse removal. Just slide this down in there. Uh, make, now's a good time to make sure your spark plug well doesn't have any debris in it. You can blow it out with some compressed air and we'll put that bolt back in and fire up the truck and make sure we're good to go. And I went ahead and pulled the spark plug out real quick just to check and make sure there was no problems with it. Everything looks normal because something was causing all that corrosion. If everything looks good with the spark plug. Uh, there's no indication that there's any issue. It looks normal. So I'll clean up the top a little bit, reinstall it, and we'll get it all put back together. Let's get everything plugged back in. Check and see if it fixed our issue. Well, fix that one, but there's another one doing it. The third coil back on this side is also doing the exact same thing. Wow, that was kind of a surprise. So another one on the same side doing the exact same thing. So let me pull that out and take a look at it. And so I pulled that out real quick and inspecting it, it doesn't look nearly as bad as that other one did. There's definitely a little bit of corrosion in there. Here's the boot. See there's a decent amount of corrosion on the Huh. I'm gonna pull this plug also take a look at it. All right, so here's that plug. Again, looks pretty normal for the age, about 50,000 miles. The top of the plugs have this like painted white coating though, which I'm not sure why that's on there. It can't be good for the resistance though, but I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be there. Clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can fix this one with that boot kit that I had for the other one. I'm gonna give it a shot before I have to order another $80 coil and then wait on it to come in. So we'll see. All right, so we're back with our boot here. Then I was able to get the corrosion pretty much cleaned up out of here. We'll see, I don't know. The fact that two of these have done this, it's telling me that you know it's about time to replace all of these. 
I'm starting to think that possibly, you know, maybe these coils were the originals for the truck. And then when they got the new engine, they swapped these coils over, which would make them having about 180,000 miles on them versus 50. So I might just have to replace everything here. Get these spark plugs while I'm at it. But we're going to rebuild this for now. So first step is take this little, this little pill here. And I'm gonna stick it down in here, and then we will put the spring up inside of here, and then compress this onto here. And the spring will make contact with this. This will make contact with the internals here, and then the spark plug kind of rests in here. The problem is, it's causing them to do this is when there's too much resistance through here into the spark plug, that the spark, it's so powerful, it's going to find a way to get to ground, so it jumps wherever it can to the engine block. So if we get it to where the, it, there's, a, you know, it's good enough to where the spark can flow through the wire and the boot here, and make it to the spark plug where it's supposed to be, that's the goal. All right, I've got this all reassembled here. Let me slide it in and we'll see if that fixed it. All right, we're back together. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. She's back to purring like a kitten again. So I guess I'm done for today. But I think this is, like I said a few minutes ago, I think this is indicative of a more of a problem. I think it's more of a maintenance issue. So what I'm gonna do is uh, not run away because of the expense, but I'm gonna I'm gonna buy all new coils probably, replace all the spark plugs while I'm at it. Just do a spark plug and coil change, just so I know that it's been done since it hasn't been done since I bought the truck then that'll be a peace of mind for me but anyway could be an issue on your truck you know especially if you got an f-150 like a raptor with the 6.2 or super duty it's getting higher up there in mileage so keep that in mind you know if you hear a ticking sound or you're having some more drivability problems or, or a misfire you know that's probably what it could be Fords have always had problems with the coil on plug system so nothing's ever changed so Give me a like if the video helped you, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions, or maybe this happened to you, you can share your experience with me. Thank you.